Hey, everybody. Hope all is well. Wow. So let's look at this video, part A. Unbelievable. Then I'll do a separate video, which will be part B and provide commentary. Now, keep this in mind. We have people who have migrated here illegally. And heck, why not? I mean, you, you know, the perks. You, you, have, you know, they're here illegally. Skipping the line. Got the Xbox, sofa, living room set up for you. Kind of food that you like. Catering to them. I mean, again, if it was me, I'd do it too. You know, I can't, I can't blame them. They got the hookup. Coffee, tea, 24-7, free telephone service. Oh, internet, you know, they got they got it going on. But I want you to see what's happening. Here's the aftermath of the hurricane. And don't forget, this was a flood, so a lot of people have lost everything. Some people had homeowner's insurance, but they didn't have floods. So let's look at this here, part A, and then I will stick around for part B, a separate video, which will be the commentary. So you check this out. For Kurt Bartholomew, reading a book is the one thing that is getting him through the day. I spend six days a week at the library. He says he's gone through tough days before, but nothing as painful as having no place to live. Mm. That's me. And it looks like chaos, but mm. organized chaos. A bit now, outside. He's camping out of the Walmart parking lot outside Fort Myers. A few things he has were donated to him. They gave me a mattress. They gave me a tent. I bought that bag to put everything in. And uh, it is what it is. So you lost everything in the hurricane? Oh, yeah. Start over. Keep it to a minimum. Because mm. I got to carry it around. One mm. could say Bartholomew's resilience is admirable. He almost died when Hurricane Ian storm surge made its way into the Fort Myers Beach Church. He found shelter. We probably had a storm surge between 14 and 20 feet wow. from sea level. I, mean, My gosh. I was covered in mud. I was disgusting looking. The 64-year-old man isn't the only one camping out here at this parking lot. We've seen several of these improvised tents scattered around the lot. Mm. Residents who once had a home but lost it all to Hurricane Ian, some of them scared of getting kicked out of this lot. Wow. What's next for you? Find a place on the night. I've got friends, new friends working on that. Um... We don't have any solid answers. I don't want to go to an evacuation shelter. Why? Too many people. I suspect there's going to be crime. And I talked with someone that stayed there, and he said it's like a jail. You, you're not free to come and go. This is what I've heard. The same lot campers have been doing laundry and taking showers in free facilities. Volunteers are giving out food, water, and basic essentials such as personal hygiene items. I bought this mm. just so the volunteers would have some coffee. Oh my As for Bartholomew, he holds his book dear, the only thing keeping him company as he searches for his new life. Axel Tercius, Newsy, Lee. Okay, so people, this is part A. Stick around for part B. We gotta have the commentary. Simply said, here on YouTube.